not always going to be available. You know, because the Lord had it written, the day is going to come when he's going to send a famine in the land for the word, and they're going to run to and fro looking for it, and they shall not find it. That's why he says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Go ahead and read on. Call ye upon him while he is near. Go ahead. Let the wicked forsake his way. Now, that's what the Lord wants to do. The Lord, he said, let the wicked forsake his way. Go ahead and read. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Go ahead and read. And let him return unto the Lord. Uh -huh. And he will have mercy upon him. Go ahead. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You see, what your, you see how your God is? Because God is not really willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repent. That's what the Lord wants. Lord don't want to destroy nobody. You understand what I'm saying? What he wants for man is for man to repent and turn to him. That is what God wants for man. Go ahead and read on. Verse 8. Go ahead. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, uh -huh. neither are your ways my ways, saith Go the Lord. Go ahead and read. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, uh -huh. so are my ways higher than your ways. Go ahead. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Uh-huh. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So now, you know, he's comparing this word like the rain that cometh down, and provide seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Go ahead and read on. 11. Uh -huh. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. See what it says? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Go ahead and read on. It shall not return unto me void. Go ahead and read. But it shall accomplish that which I please. Go ahead. And it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Go ahead and read. For ye shall go out with joy mm -hmm. and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you Go into ahead. singing. Go ahead and read. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Now you know the Lord is just dealing with when he returned and set up his kingdom here. Go ahead and read on. Instead of the thorn, instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree uh -huh. and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree Go ahead. and it shall be to the Lord for a name go ahead. for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off now let's go to uh let's go to uh, 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 uh John chapter 10 and we'll begin reading at verse 9 John chapter 10 and verse 9 you know this is one of the favorite scriptures of these people that like to preach material gain this is this is their favorite scripture. Then after that, I'm going to show you their least favorite. Amen. John <laughs> chapter 10, and we're going to pick it up at verse 9. John 10, and we began reading at verse 9. Okay, go ahead and read. I am the door. Uh -huh. By me, if any man enter in... He shall be saved. See what Jesus said, I am the door. Any man enter in, he shall be saved. Now, they have a lot of money. But he said, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Because that's what Jesus came for, to give us salvation. That's what he came for. He is the door to your salvation. Go ahead and read on. And shall go in and out uh -huh. and find pasture. See what it said, and they shall go in and out and they shall find pasture. Nourishment, in other words. How are you nervous? By the word of God. Go ahead and read on. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill Go and ahead. to destroy. Now he said the thief didn't come to do nothing but to steal and to kill and destroy. You got many thieves out here nowadays. And everything and when they come, they come to steal and to destroy. That is what they come for. Because they come giving you the message that will bring destruction on you. That will steal your salvation from you. That, that's what the thief came for. Go ahead and read on. I am come that they might have life. See what Jesus said. I am come that they might have life. Go ahead and read on. And that they might have it more abundantly. And, and that they might have it more abundantly. When they read this, they tell you this means that you're going to have a lot of money. But the Lord is going to make himself clear here. Skip down to verse 25. Verse 25. Go ahead and read. Jesus answered them. I told you, and ye believe not. Go ahead and read. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Go ahead and read. But ye believe not, uh -huh. because ye are not of my sheep, Go ahead. as I said unto you. Uh -huh. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. See what the Lord said, my sheep, they hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. In other words, if you really the Lord's sheep, then you know the Lord's voice, and you're going to follow him. You're going to do the things that he says you are supposed to do, in other words. Go ahead and read on. 
And I give unto them eternal life. Wait a minute. This is the life that he came that you might have it more abundantly. He didn't say I give unto them a lot of money, did he? Mm -hmm. He said I give unto them eternal life. That is the life more abundantly. Because man didn't have access to eternal life until Jesus came and died. That is the life more abundantly that he came that you might have. He's made it, he said that. He's making this clear, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I give unto them eternal life. Go ahead and read on. And they shall never perish. And they will never perish. Go ahead and read. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Now, let's go uh, to uh, 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 2 Timothy chapter, no, I'm sorry, 1 Timothy chapter 6. 1 Timothy chapter 6. You know, the book told you about these people that promote this doctrine of material gain here. And the people that promote it, this is what they don't want to hear. First okay. Timothy chapter 6, and we will begin reading at verse 3, and this will be last. First Timothy chapter 6, and we're going to pick it up at verse 3. Okay, go ahead and read. If any man teach otherwise mm -hmm. and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. See what it says, if they teach otherwise and don't consent unto the wholesome words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the doctrine that is according to godliness. Go ahead and read on. He is proud, uh -huh. knowing nothing. See what the Lord said, he is proud and he don't know nothing. And I know they don't know nothing. I listen to them, therefore I know what's written right here. It is right on time. He said they are proud and they don't know nothing. Go ahead, read on. But doting about questions and strifes of words. Go ahead. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmising, uh -huh. perverse disputings of men. He said they are perverse dis uh, disputing of men. Go ahead, read on. Of corrupt minds uh -huh. and destitute of the truth. See what it said? They are in destitute. Of the truth. In other words, they have a serious lacking of the truth. That's what destitute means. He said, so they are in destitute of the truth. Go ahead and read on. Supposing that gain is God. And you know, they would have you believe that material gain have something to do with godliness. Books said they are in destitute of the truth and don't have nothing to do with them. Go ahead and read on. From such, withdraw thyself. See what the Lord said, from such, withdraw thyself. You know, these uh, people that's promoting this doctrine of material gain, having you to believe that material gain has something to do with, uh, with, with godliness, he said, from such, withdraw thyself. Go ahead and read on. Six, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Go ahead and read. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. You didn't come here with nothing, and you ain't going to leave with nothing. I don't care how much you accumulate while you're here. You ain't going to take none of it with you. Somebody else going to have some of it. Somebody else going to get it. And the thing is, you don't know if it's a wise man or a fool. <laughs> <laughs> you, you done labored hard all them years to accumulate all of this stuff. Then you leave it to a fool and he blow it in six months. <laughs> Once you gone, it ain't going to do you no good. And, 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 and who you left it to. It didn't do that much good, not for long anyway. <laughs> so you didn't come in with nothing, and you ain't going to leave here with nothing. So your focus should be on something that is eternal and not something that is temporary. Go ahead and read on. And having food and raiment, uh -huh. let us be there with content. Go ahead. But they, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. Go ahead. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Uh-huh. Which drown men in, de in destruction and perdition. So, you know, because you get some. You know, they have this desire so much to be rich until they fall into many hurtful lusts and foolish temptations. You know, God ain't got no problem with you acquiring wealth. But then what will you do in order to acquire that wealth? As long as you don't do nothing illegal or immoral, then God don't have a problem with it. But then many, because they have such a desire but as well, they fall into many hurtful lusts and temptations. Go ahead and read on. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Not money is the root of all evil, but he said the love of it. That means when you will do things that you shouldn't do in order to acquire this wealth. Go ahead and read on. Which while some coveted after... Uh -huh. They have erred from the faith. Go ahead and read. And pierce, and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. 
Now, you know, he just letting you know the love of money is the root of all evil. But he ain't going to tell you what this thing is really all about. Go ahead and read on. But thou, old man of God. Now, he said, but you, old man of God, if you're really a man of God. But you, old man of God, go ahead and read on. Flee these things. He said, but flee these things. Go ahead and read. And follow after righteousness. He said, but follow after righteousness. That is what servants of God are supposed to be focusing on. Focusing on right. Like Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. He mm -hmm. said, but now you, old man of God, follow after righteousness. Go ahead and read on. Godliness. Go ahead. Faith. Faith. Love. Uh -huh. Patience. Meekness. Go ahead. Fight the good fight of faith. See what they said? Fight the good fight of faith. Go ahead and read on. Lay hold on eternal life. Lay hold on eternal life. That is what you need to be fighting. Fight the good fight of faith. In other words, hold on to this word at all costs. Whatever it is, hold on to the word. You know, because he didn't say a servant of God wouldn't go through some trials. But he's telling you to fight the good fight of faith. Hold on to the word at all costs. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Go ahead and read on. Whereunto thou art also called. He said, whereunto you are also called. That is what man was really called to. From the very beginning, he was called to eternal life. That is why the Lord laid the tree of life in front of man from the very beginning. And that tree of life, which is the word of God, it's been laid before man ever since. Go ahead and finish that verse, bro. And has professed a good profession Go ahead. before many witnesses. Now, that is good. Uh, so now I hope that uh, you have understood this lesson. Uh, you know, the doctrine of material gain, because that is the doctrine of the day. That's pretty much all you hear. But the doctrine of God focuses on eternal life. That's what the doctrine of God focuses on, eternal life and not material gain. Thank you, and I do hope you understood this lesson.